Hey everybody, we're gonna talk about law of sine today. Um, so we practice using trig functions and ratios to find side lengths and angle measurements of right triangles. So there's also, a, so for this one, we need this angle. So we would do 180 minus 33 minus 58 to get 89. So sine of 89 over X is equal to sine of 58 over 25. Um, 25 times sine of 89 divided by sine of 58. So you get X is equal to 29.5. We need to know that other missing angle, so 180 minus 17 minus 23 is 40. So sine of 40 over 29 is equal to sine of 23 over x. So 29 times sine of 23 divided by sine of 40, x is 17.6. And the last one for finding side lengths, 180 minus 61 minus 39 whoop, is 80. So sine of 39 over X is equal to sine of 80 over 18. And X would be 11.5. Now we're going to find side lengths, I mean for angles. So if you remember back to when we had to do um, finding angles, we had to do sine inverse, we have to do the same thing here. So sine of x over 9 is equal to sine of 77 over 14. So 14 sine of x is equal to 9 sine of 77. So sine of x is equal to 19 times sine of 77 over 14. So we need to do the sine inverse. But what I would do first is I would plug in your calculator 19 times sine of 77, divide it by 14, and then press, um, like in my calculator I can do sine inverse, and I go back up to that number and I re-enter it. Let's see, so sine, so x is equal to sine inverse of 19 sine of 77 all over 14. Okay, I made a mistake and it should be nine. I wrote 19 down there, but I erased it. So now it, now it wasn't working in my calculator because um, you'll learn in trig that Miss there's a domain. Fashion. You'll learn there's a domain for sine. So X is equal to 38.8 degrees. Next we have um, sine of x over 15 is equal to sine of 126 over 31. So if we do, so 15 times sine of 126 and divide it by 31, then you take sine inverse of that number, you're going to get x to be 23 degrees. Sine of 21, oops, sorry. Sine of x, see if it's gonna catch up, is over 21 is equal to sine of 61 over 24. So 21 sine of 61 divided by 24, take sine inverse of that decimal, and you're gonna get x to be 49.9. Sine of x over 28 is equal to sine of 23 over 12. So 28 sine of 25 divided by 12, take sine inverse of it, and you get x to be 80.4. Last two, we have um, sine of x 
over 37 is equal to sine of 43 over 94. 37 times sine of 43 divided by 94, take sine inverse. Um, Oop, hold on. Yeah, because what? You get x to be 59.1. And the last one, sine of 82 over 18 is equal to sine of x over 7, you x to be 22.6.